Hey guys, this is Hawk, and welcome back to the channel and our journey through Portia. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump right back in. I didn't have any notes that I really wanted to cover. Gonna get out of bed, and I know we've got to get into the ruins. There is a lot of copper that we're gonna need for the bronze bars, for the, um, the copper bars, everything. So let's see. As a matter of fact, we've got some bronze bars. Uh, let's go ahead and refuel this and see how many more of these we can make. Uh, oh, here's our stone bricks. I forgot we were making those. Go ahead and refuel. We cannot make any more stone bricks. But it seems to still be working on them. Oh, it's got two more to go. Uh, what I'd like to do before we go down there is I would like to upgrade my pickaxe if I can. The bronze pickaxe is going to require... Oh, only two bronze bars and an upgrade kit. I've got... Looks like I've got ten bronze bars, so we might be able to go ahead and do both... Yeah, I've got plenty. As long as I can afford the upgrade kits, I do not remember how much they cost. Ooh, we've got mail. From Town Hall. We have an important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting in Peach Plaza. Please try to make it at 1900 Sharp, Mayor Gale. All right. We will certainly try to make that. But to start... Oh, this is one of the kids we haven't met yet. You're new. Right? I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. I hope you have a good time in town. Alright, so that was one of the kids that we still needed to meet. And I believe... Oh, here's all three of these girls. Hi. Where are you from? We had not met her, and I don't think we met the youngest one. Dolly. Hello. I just want to say, now that you're here, we can't play hide and seek in that haunted house anymore. All your fault. Oh. No one told me that my house was haunted before I moved in. I... Can I get my money back? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, by the way, there's apartment buildings here. I don't know who all lives in these. I think that some of these, though, have... I think you can find some treasure chests in here. Maybe I'm going crazy, but... Ugh, it's a lot of back and forth. I'm getting dizzy. So far, no. There we go. Ooh, a slingshot? I don't know if I want that. I think there's a bunch of upstairs apartments, too, that we will check out at some point. But for now, I want to try to get those upgrade kits. Whoops, sorry, Remington. Didn't mean to run into you there. Oh, and we also did not meet Martha yet. I think... yeah, Martha. Hi! You're probably the new builder everyone's talking about. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you. I run a bakery here in town. It's important to stay healthy! Indeed it is. I'm guessing that's why you come out here and you do, like, yoga every morning. Alright, um... Upgrade kits. Oh, that's right, I've got all these fish to sell from last time, too. Uh, I don't really want... Uh, the market price is 98% as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this stuff. How much is this worth? 24? So you can see with the market price, it would... It's only minus, so this must normally sell for 25, so I'm okay with taking that penalty. Um, what about you? Yeah, I... I'm just gonna go ahead and sell these. What is the... Oh, the... yeah, the Goliath, that's right, that was worth 350. Um, let's sell all of these. Oh, look at the money! I got four... wait thought I sold all of these? Oh. Oh, he doesn't have any more money! I didn't ever remember that happening. Uh, does it help you if I buy some upgrade kits? Then do you have more money? Wait. 
Oh, here they are. Uh, 235. I'm going to go ahead and buy four right away. Oh, that's right. I was going to see if he actually... Uh, can you take this today now? Oh, he can't... Oh, I see. He actually has a gold stash up there. I made an assumption that it was unlimited. All right. Everyone else we have met. Speaking of, how many people do we still have to meet? Um, there's four on that page, and there's five more. Okay, so nine total. Some of them will come a little later on. Ironically, you don't, you're not, you will not have access to everybody up front. And we will grab one more commission while we're in here. Oh, no, we won't. It is the weekend. Which is actually down um, by the minimap. You can see that it is... The one indicates that it is spring. And the seven with the Sunday is, of course, the day of the week. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our bronze pickaxe. And our bronze axe. And then we will go ahead and put all of this stuff in here. And... Now we will carry the upgrade kits with us. And when we get back, I would like to try to make the uh, uh, the additional storages that we're going to need to try to get everything organized. Back into the ruins. We will probably go ahead and do these kind of like we did last time. I don't know that it's... Hello. Okay. Um, I don't know that it's all that entertaining to watch uh, somebody mine rocks all day. So probably go ahead and cut here to the end of the day when I'm done mining. And we'll go over kind of what we found. So I will catch you then. All right, we are back at the mine entrance, and as you can see, I have zero stamina left. I've got zero out of 264, and you might also notice in slot four of my hotbar, I have also used the apricot juice. So I have used as much energy as I can possibly use for today. Um, we were able to get 418 copper, 110, two stone, only two stone, interesting. Um, some sand, some soil, I also found some data chips and uh, some additional, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the data chips and also some data disks. Uh, these we'll be able to give to the research center to get them started on some research. These things, um, I know it's it's not a spoiler. I know that these go in ACK. You will meet ACK at a later date. Um, so it's not a spoiler because it's, it's in the description, but I've never learned how to use these. So maybe that's something we'll learn in this uh this playthrough is how to actually install these chips into ack and of course the other thing that i found is a sofa and i think i had mentioned this in one of the episodes that when you place it in your house you get bonus attributes so what we'll get in uh, when we put this down in our house is an additional max stamina of plus seven which will be great so we're going to make sure to get that put down this evening as well but for now we have no stamina Ooh. I just got the notification, too, that it is time for the fireside chat, so... Well, it's actually not quite time for the fireside chat. They give you a notice uh, a little bit in advance so that you can get there in time. Alright. We're going to go over here, though, and we're going to see who all shows up. Maybe there'll be somebody we haven't we haven't met yet. Or we'll just talk to hey. some people. I hope Portia can be more prosperous under my guidance and be um, see you. I 
backed out of that before I forgot but the other thing I wanted to mention about when I was down mining I did actually get another skill point as well which I applied for the first time into the fight column and we're going to get um, some additional endurance uh, when we are sprinting or I'm sorry it's a it's actually a decrease in endurance uh, so that hopefully we can sprint a little longer all right so we've never actually talked to Higgins you must be the competition. Whatever. The more the merrier. Bring it on. Look, that does actually count as a meet, so we had he was not in our book. Right, Gust, Albert, Toddy, Sonia. I'm sorry, she actually pronounces it as Sonia. Oh, Good time evening, for the meeting. Everyone. We've been having lots of pan bat sightings recently. I know they're cute, but still. Don't go near them. They're dangerous. I've asked the Civil Corps to try something to scare them off, but I'm not holding up much hope. We all know what a pan bat infestation's like. Sometimes I wish we had a tank. A tank? Like a tank of liquid? A tank that blows things up? Uh... In other news, we've decided to proceed with the building of a bridge to Amber Island. A builder has already been picked for this project. Oh, God. And that's announced at the fireside meeting. This is going to go well with Higgins. Also, we are in preparations for the construction of the DD transportation system. I'll be securing the funding over the coming weeks and pick a builder soon. Any donations are welcome. What? How come I didn't hear about the bridge? When was this? <laughs> oh, now I finally get to fish there. He's asking for money again. Finally, we have a new builder in town this week who lives in the old workshop outside the city gate. Let's all give a warm welcome. Oh, Higgins even clapped. Who are you? Um, yeah, everybody here we've met. So one of the things we've not really gone over yet is who we're going to pursue a relationship with. And since I've decided already, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you that I'm going to try to marry a doctor. So let's go talk to Dr. Shu. Hi. Because who doesn't want to marry a doctor? If you don't feel very well, just come to the clinic. I'll offer you my best help. Well, thank you very much. Now, I have never engaged in like a Bye. relationship with Dr. Zhu before, so I don't know what kind of gifts he likes. So we will be exploring that as we go. Maybe we'll get it right. Okay, coming back with some... Oh, look, the stone bricks are done. And I do not have any stone to uh, to put in for more bricks, but that's okay because we can actually have it continue making... At some point, we're going to need glass, too. But for now, I think we'll just have it go ahead and make copper bars. And for this, we'll go ahead and add more fuel and have it continue making bronze bars. Okay, and then we had noted last time that oh, we needed the bricks to make the civil cutter. That's right. I think we can build this now that we've got the bricks. Um, let's see. And I think it's about that time. We're going to go ahead and make some more storages. We're going to name them. Uh, we're going to put this down in our house. So I'm going to go ahead and make some more storages. And then, except I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to do it in the work table. I will go ahead and rename them and I will be right back with you. All right, we are back. So I actually crafted. Um, I always like having a chest that is right next to my house so that when I'm coming back late at night I can use this as kind of like a dumping ground you know it's it's kind of late you come running in and you hop in here and you open it and you just click sort all and everything just goes where it is supposed to be and then you can go straight to bed for the evening and this one is 
also one that I like to have close by. Uh, it's the it's my relics chest. You can see that I renamed it here at the top, uh, and it's I like to have it close by just because I can grab things out of it quickly when I'm headed off to like the research center. Um, but you can see I actually did make a number of storage boxes, and just to give you a quick rundown, I also have one placed here because it's nice to have it right next to the assembly station, uh, so you can withdraw the items you need to put into your blueprints. And you'll see there are no more storage chests over here and that is because of the fact that any chest is accessible from any other chest so I tend to tuck the majority of them out of the way where they're not going to interfere with other equipment that I want to place down so you can see I've started kind of rows of them back here um, behind the house and I generally will not be accessing any of them but just to give you a rundown of what's in the different chests I have one for animals and farming uh, and there are some items that are in here. You can see that these are not actually edible. So they would be there. These came come from tr uh, tree kicking, but of course they are the byproducts of animals and they're not able to be eaten, which is why they're in here. Um, here's assembly station. So the only thing that's in there right now is the copper blades that we're going to need for that civil cutter that is on the assembly station right now. Um, and we will continue to use that in the future. Uh, equipment is, you might have to use your imagination on some things I put in these, like this is really not equipment, but I didn't really have a better place to put it. The other things, they are different forms of equipment. Oh, speaking of which, uh, hey, I figured out how to use the split button. I only need one pipe, I think. So we'll put the other one in there for now. And then we of course have our food chest and I do believe everything in here has some form of stamina or health regeneration. Of course the relic chest which is the one we're in right now when we've got stone and metal um and of course things like sand and that are, that'll be processed through the furnaces and then our wood chest which is things that we get from chopping down the bushes and the trees so much better organized right now so i'm feeling better about that but for now we are out of energy and we wanted to put down this uh sofa before we go to bed we'll just yeah, let's sit it by the window so that when we sit in it, which you can't actually do in game, but you know, we'll get a maybe a nice view of the outside. Except that our windows are broken. The heck? Oh, here's the home panel that I was looking for once upon a time. So here it shows you you can see how important it was that we put down that builder's license on the first day and we did not do it, but uh, it's fine, it's down now. But you can see that we are getting an additional 27 stamina per day. Now, because of the builder's license, which is plus 20, and now the leather sofa that we just pushed down. Uh, put down, I'm sorry. All right, it is late. We need to go to bed. In fact, we do. Okay. Hi. Whoa. So you're the new builder in town. I heard you're from Barnarok. It's a lot more humid here in Portia. Have you got used to the humidity here? Um, I never get used to humidity, so not yet. Health is the most important thing in life, right? Don't wait until you're sick to do something about it. A seaside proverb says prevention is the best cure. Don't you agree? Sure. Good. But still, eat some healthy foods. Good for the body, good for the mind. Try using milk, golden salmon, and salt to make the creamy salmon stew. It's a local stew. I personally find it very healthy. So milk, golden salmon, and salt. We don't have access to salt yet, although we might be able to buy it from Granny, but we actually don't have anything to make it in. But um, thank you, Doctor. We'll actually just go talk to him. Hey. Because we want to chat Greetings. with him. Greetings. The snow is just melted. You should keep warm. The snow's just melted? See you. Date the spring. There hasn't been any snow on the ground yet. Anyway, let's read our mail. From Dawa. We have not met him yet. He's another one of the Hulu brothers. I'm Dawa, the keeper of the Porsche tree farm. There we go. I had thought maybe that that was Sanwa. Okay, so Dawa is dresses in a reddish pink. Pinkish red, I guess. 
The last storm we had blew down some of the fencing. We're closed until it's fixed, so I need you to help me fix it as soon as possible. We'll need five wooden boards. Thank you. All right, we will definitely accept that because I think we can make those on the cutter that we're going to make today. From Town Hall. Dear citizen, the annual Porsche fishing day is happening this Friday and Saturday. If you're interested in participating, bring your patience and fishing rod and register at the event. Town Hall. We will most definitely participate in those. But for now, we are going to go ahead and make the civil cutter. Oh, which is just copper blades and stone bricks. Let's get these going again. Increase our fuel. And then tack on a couple more of each of the bar types. All right. Um, so again, in the assembly station here, we can get these. And then we can drop down to the stone and metal. We need a five of those. So this split system does work a little differently than other games. You actually have to sh hit the shift button and then the left mouse click. Um, before you ever click on it, a lot of games you pick it up and then you hit shift or you right, uh, right click on it and it's just not quite the same here, but that is okay. As long as we know how it works. Copper blades, stone bricks. And now we've got ourselves a cutter, which I guess we'll put over here for now. I think this gets fueled with power stones as well. We only have two of them up. Ah, yes, there's those copper plates. I couldn't make that one day. And here's the wooden boards. Did they tell me how many? They need five. Let's go ahead and fuel this with our remaining two power stones. And then we'll have them go ahead and make... You know, we're probably going to spend a bunch of the day um, chopping down some wood because we are running low on that. So I'm going to go ahead and just have it make as many boards as it can make. Because those will become important. And I don't want to make anything else here. What are the other recipes we've got available? So the Skyver, which needs bronze, bronze pipes and marble planks. Okay, here's the bridge heads, the bronze plates, stone bricks. Okay, so we'll have that, I think, start making some copper pipes because I think we're going to need... We're going to need six of those total because we need two of the wooden bridge heads in order to finish the bridge to Amber Island. All right, we'll just have everything kind of running right now so that we... uh make some progress. Whoops. That stole my pipe. Maybe I should just keep them both on me. Fine. They stack. Alright, and then the relics. I would like to take some of these. Let's take six. There's a reason I'm taking a weird number like six. Uh, I'd like to give five of them to the research center. Oh, and it is Monday, so we can go grab another commission while we're here. All right. Audit needs three copper wire, which we actually would be able to make. Let's see what else is available. Six fiber cloth. Uh, to get that, we would have to have the Skyver set up. I think we've got two right now that were given as a gift. Um, but otherwise, we would need the Skyver and we would need... Oh, I think it's Cotton Llama fur or something like that. And we've not killed that many of those yet. So probably won't take that one. Ooh, here we go. Let's increase our relationship with Dr. Zhu by... Uh, you can see that'll increase your relationship by 11 by giving him five copper bars. It's always something to be on the lookout for. Let's see how we're doing in the rankings. Oh, Builder Wang moved ahead of us. Uh, well, it didn't move ahead of us. He, he moved up a little in the standing so that we're still in last place. But we are getting close. Never fear. We will 
outstrip him quite soon. All right, let's duck in here really quickly and see about those second floor rooms. Oh, creepy. I did not know that Nora lived in here. I wouldn't necessarily call... Happy! I wouldn't necessarily call these apartments, per se. I think I would probably call it, like, a hotel. A magnetic bracelet? What is that? Alright. Well, let's go, go ahead and equip that. I mean, it's good for plus six defense. Alright. Any more in these rooms? Nope. And there's no more rooms upstairs. Alright, well, we at least know we came in here now and we took care of all of those. Yeah, I don't see anything else we can do. That's right, we were going to the research center. I've already forgotten. We'll get them started on some research for us. Look at them doing their yoga. Alright, Petra. Hello. Well, it's first, let's chat the with people you. people in the church are so stubborn. Why shouldn't we use technology from the old world? They obviously can make our lives more convenient. It really doesn't make any sense. Right, let's Hi. go ahead into Did research. Did you discover something new? And give her five that data should disks. Be enough data disks. Still, if you want to expedite our research, you can submit more data disks. The more data, the faster we work. I'm sorry, but I, I don't have the any data more. corruption on these disks are minimal. There should be useful info on them. We'll have something for you by tomorrow. Ooh, well, thank you. That's speedy. Hello, oh. Merlin. Hello. If you find anything of uh, value from the old world, please donate it to us. You have no idea how much discovery can change the world. Don't listen to what the church has to say. We just want to progress towards a better world. We are going to, in order to, we actually have a mission to give a data disk to Lee of the church. So we are going to go up that direction and do that. Oh, this is where Sam lives. I do think it's some of these people's houses too that you can actually get some uh, treasure chests also. But... Let's not spend all day looking for treasure chests. There's a bird's nest up there. Who's... It's spring. Who's running a chimney? I mean, a fireplace, I guess, technically. Uh, we're going the wrong way. winding to get up here. Hopefully he's here. I probably should have checked the map. Oh, there's a treasure chest here, though. No, not here. Dried apple slices. All right, where is he? Let's pull up the map here. He's in Peach Plaza, it looks like. Alright. 
each plaza is this way. Good thing there's no fall damage. There he is. Good day, builder. Oh dear, a data disk. You know what this is? Of course, this is what the ancients used to store information on their technologies back in the Age of Corruption. It is highly dangerous because there's a chance this little item here could contain the blueprint for Armageddon. <laughs> it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> You're what, 18? 19? The Age of Darkness is probably just another fairy tale story to you, right? When I was young, my great grandma shared her first hand account of the time before Peach, the time when folks lived in ruins underground. She went days without food. Everybody fought each other over the most basic of things. And people were considered old if they managed to live to 30. And it was always, always dark. Imagine that. Because that's what the end of the world looked like. That situation was created by the very same sort of dark technologies stored inside this little disk. Anyhow, I'm not trying to scare you. But it's the reality of your builder business. Dangerous technologies are spread all over the world, waiting to be stumbled upon and rediscovered. Places like the Research Center and cities like Vega 5 expedite their recovery. Calamity will strike again, mark my words. So, it's a priority of the church to seek out and destroy all the data disks and other dangerous relics. With help from ruin divers such as yourself, of course. So, I can give this to you? Yes, yes, that's right. The church will reward you handsomely for your efforts. We have in our possessions a vast amount of green technology learned through the ages. Wait a minute, I know that look. The church isn't against the use of good technology that can bring telesis to our society. We're only against dangerous technology. What kind of green technology? Mostly special seeds, you'll see. We can share what we have with you as you bring us more discs. You do know how to plant crops, right? We in fact do. We got the planter box recipe that we're supposed to make for Emily. Okay, great. Here, I'll take that disc and give you some seeds to get you started. When you discover more discs, bring them to us and we'll give you more seeds. You'll be doing this world a great service. Uh, cotton seeds. Very nice. So, as a general rule of thumb, I prefer not to take sides in the little quarrel that goes on between the research center and the, um, the research center and the church. All I know is that you end up needing a little bit of their, both of their help for everything. Going to okay, and then we've got farming. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and chop a whole bunch of trees. Um, Probably just pretty much until I use all of my energy. So probably similar to mining rather than having you sit through this. I will regroup with you as soon as I run out of energy. So I will see you then. All right, we are back. And you can see I have not quite used all of my energy, but we were able to get... Um, quite a bit of wood um a bunch of hardwood uh some resin some plant fibers some rubber fruits uh and you can see based on the barren nature of the land behind my cabin i am in fact able with my new bronze axe to um chop down these trees i uh, thought i would show one of these on screen though because these are slightly different than the other shrubs and trees that you cut down in that you cut the top half off and then you actually still have to cut the base of the tree the the stump and one other thing that i noticed down here that i wanted to go ahead and do where was it huh i wonder if items that are dropped that are on the ground they seem 
to have despawned because there was the animal feces that I was going to pick up and we were going to use for the purposes of crafting that crafting that planter box for Emily. It was laying near where I was where I was uh, collecting the wood over there and it's no longer there. So we're going to try to uh, hit some of these llamas in the hope that I get some. Um, and they respawn quite quickly. Did I get any? Oh, I did get one. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Run away! I don't think he can get up here now. Okay. Ugh. Wow, we are really out of stamina. Alright, go ahead and refuel these. Um, you know what? Just go ahead. We, I think we use a lot of our copper bars uh, making those copper pipes. So we'll go ahead and make more. More bronze bars. Okay. Um, well, the wooden boards are almost done. These are done. And I think I decided for the Skyver when we go to make that. I need two bronze pipes, and I need a marble plank. I might have enough marble to make that plank once that board is done, as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and make these right away. Best to always keep these machines running if you can, just because of the fact that it uh, does take them a while. Okay, let's see here. I want to make that planter box yet if I can. Small planter box. Yes, we have everything we need now. So we did get the last of the animal feces that we needed. Oh, and this takes wooden boards. I see. Okay, so it's good we made some extra. Okay. Let's go ahead and place this down. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and put this where those uh, storage bins used to be. All right, press the right mouse button to check the crop status. Equip the seed and press the left mouse button to plant it. Great. Maybe we just need to grab the seeds. Hey, Chiwa. Animals and farming. So she wanted us to plant wheat. We'll go ahead and take this as well. Go ahead and sort all. And we need, let's see, the wood chest. We'll put one of these in here, but we need to keep the other five on us because they go to one of the Hulu brothers, I think Dawa. And now this is where this will go in the assembly station. Oh, and the resin that we have on us, that is a byproduct of the wood that we've chopped down. So let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, let's so this, and we will go ahead and put... So you can see there's... It's a very angry plant right now. Um, that's why we got to put on fertilizer. And then it gets happier. You end up using quite a lot of fertilizer. Alright, now it's a very happy plant. So let's go ahead and put these back in the farming chest. Alright, so I think that is everything for the day. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to call it here. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and comment. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the series to be notified of future videos. But for now, my name is Hawk. This has been our journey through Portia. Thanks for joining us and I will see you next time.